Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing more Hello Neighbor Alpha 2. I know in the last video I said I wasn't gonna mess around anymore with this build, but that's before I found out that they left the dev console in. That's that little <laughs> uh, input at the bottom of the screen. You can open it with the tilde key, and apparently you can use this to just ghost through the walls. So, here's the basement. We can actually visit other parts of the basement. Uh, so I'm going to try to do that real quick. Uh, we're going to try two commands here. You can choose fly and ghost. And this will allow you to move through the walls. Okay, are you ready to see the rest of the basement? All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Holy shit. Oh my god. So that's where the... The alpha ends right there. That door, I wonder if I can just... Yes, I can. Okay. Um, I'm gonna open up the console and just hit walk. So now we're we're back on dry land. So this is the rest of the basement beyond the door. Oh my god. Here's a familiar sight. We saw this picture in a previous build of the game. And the game thinks that we're out on the street because we couldn't possibly be in the actual basement. But this is what it looks like in here. Um, very impressive, to say the least. I'm not sure why there's candles everywhere. I guess he goes down here and lights them every day. Seems like kind of a hassle. Also replaces them too because they don't have infinite wax or anything. A little odd, but uh, not, not real sure what his idea with that is. He also apparently constructed this entire place, which we're not even going to talk about that because that's an entirely ridiculous conversation. Look at these long, sprawling hallways. Here's the mannequin again. What's with the mannequin? Can I take it with me? What was that? I hear that beep sometimes, just in the regular part of the game. All right, so we got a, a locked door here. And uh, of course, I, I brought everything with me, including a lock pick, so. We can't, we can't pick this lock, actually. But there are three different keys. Okay, none of these keys go to the door, which would make sense. I mean, what's the point of the lock when the keys are right next to it? Can I please have my wrench back? I'm paranoid that I might need it for something. This mannequin's burning, so like, does that imply that there was a fire? Oh, wow, we just dropped off a cliff right here. Okay, all right, well, uh, let's try turning on Ghost again, see if we can just go through it. We sure can. And, uh, gonna walk again. All right, so there's more hallways. Got a speaker for, <laughs> for some reason. And there's a TV with nothing on, but... Okay, we got a ladder here. Well, wait, 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 there's another hallway over here. I gotta believe that the devs wanted us to find this if they kept the console in. Like, come on. What is going on in here? Oh! Is this where the ladder went? I think it went up here, so there's two different ways. There's a generator right here. And it's locked. Well, that's not gonna stop us. Hasn't stopped us up to this point. <laughs> Cheating our way through it. Okay. What is at the end of the basement? Well, wait, this is another hallway. Does this door open? Sure doesn't, okay. And here's another gate. It looks like I was supposed to approach this from the other side. You can drop down from there. Now, obviously, there's nothing to do here because it's it's supposed to be inaccessible. Okay, wait, we're back where the TV was. Nope, this is a different... No, it's the same one. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try something real quick. Fly. Maybe I don't have to do both of those, but... Ghost, please. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the outside. So I couldn't get through that door earlier. Let's just check it out from the outside. Looks like we've been through most of it. We just don't know what's on the other side of the store. There's nothing. So they haven't built that part yet. Huh. 
Wow. All right, guys. Well, uh, here's a little spoilery look at the entire basement. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I think we checked out most of it. We didn't check out uh, this part up here where we could fall down. Looks like there's a, a pit of furniture. And then you can go down here. There's another fire. It's gotta be some sort of symbolism. Like there was a fire. Some sort of accident where maybe his family died. I'm wondering. I have a feeling for some reason that time travel is involved. Okay, so this isn't the only place that we can go. We can also um, do this. Open. Okay. Neighbor three. And... I, I have no idea where we are. Somebody just told me to put this in. Hello? Okay. I don't think he's actually... This, this, this can't be right. <laughs> what is... What is this? That goes into nothing, doesn't it? Oh, uh, he's just sleeping on air, isn't he? Okay, I'm gonna... Can I go down? Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't like being down here. There's, there's nothing there. So I don't know where we are, but, um... I think it's another place entirely. I'm wondering if this is like a debug map. <gasps> that would make sense. Excuse me? What? He's here? We need the flashlight, dude. Oh, yeah, we're totally... <laughs> this is totally like a debug map or something. What's this glowing light over here? Oh, it must be a generator. A generator that's not on. So clock. Yeah, I can't see anything. How about I'm gonna I'm gonna be lame and just check it out from Wow. Wow. Look at this place. Surrounded by space. What's on the roof? All sorts of stuff. So wait, this this allows us actually to pick up a flashlight so we can actually see. Does the light actually work? Well, what? It's a broken flashlight. Thanks for the busted flashlight. Can you open this? Ah, you can open the furnace. I wonder if there's a bear somewhere on this map. You could burn the bear. There's the binoculars. Yeah, this has got to be like a like a debug map or something because it, it makes no sense <laughs> Currently I like it. There's too much open space All right, well, that's cool. Let's uh, let's head back. Here's uh, here's the car That's fucking loud Can you go underneath the map? You can go underneath the map Who's this guy? Who's that guy? Why are they underneath the map? Is that the neighbor? There's a key down here. Can I get it? Oh, you can't pick it up. Hello. He's in T-pose. Yeah, we're... <laughs> Is this me? What? This is not what I anticipated that I would look like. Got a long ass nose. <laughs> okay, so now we know what we look like. That's the rest of the outfit for sure that I'm currently wearing. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Okay, theory time. What if? What if? No, his nose is too different. I was saying, what if we're him? Because that would explain why he's in our house in the intro of Alpha 2. Maybe we're like his... his son or something. Maybe we're related to him? There's gotta be some sort of significance to us trying to break into his house, you know? And like, what if, uh... every time you go through the basement, it transports you to another place and time, and that's why his house looks different, like a different dimension. It's kind of like a Bioshock Infinite kind of thing, where he has a different house in every dimension. 
But he's like, for some reason, he's trying to stop you from dimension hopping. That would be interesting. Okay, so one last place I wanted to check out, and that's this. We can go through it now. Ooh. Okay, I'm uh turn on walk now because there's no way he can get up here. What? There's a stuffed animal here. Is he peeing? What? Is he? Who is peeing? He was peeing in there. What the actual fuck? Hi. There's a crow up here. Yeah, he's freaking out, isn't he? Wow, it's really loud up here. What is this? It's a magnet. I also stole the... <laughs> The painting! Some weird uh, items up here. These, like, these are fireworks. Huh. Doesn't look like I can use them. There's like a bunch of them up here, too. Oh, he's mad. He knows I'm here. What's in. Okay, what's in here? What's in here? Oh, this is the key card door! This is the one that wouldn't open! I wonder why they gated this part off! Like, it'd be cool, like, the crow alerts him that you're up here. And there's a couple cool items. Albeit, I don't know what they do. Anyway, guys, this was a weird video for me. I normally don't check out glitches and stuff. But I just, I was really intrigued to potentially know what the basement looked like. So, we got a little sneak peek, I guess, of future alpha builds. Uh, a lot of weird stuff in this one, thanks to the uh, dev console. Really, ooh, oh, okay. Ghost, you feel ethereal. Okay, I'm not sure why that descriptor was in there. Thanks for telling me how I feel. Uh, yeah, I probably won't play more Hello Neighbor until Alpha 3, which is coming next month. But yeah, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this. Do you like seeing, like, the glitches and, like, ghosting through walls and seeing more of the game and its future, or would you rather just not see videos like these and just stick with straight up gameplay, checking out how the game is supposed to be played and experienced? Let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll definitely take it into account in the future, but I just thought it would be fun to check stuff out. <laughs> uh, looks like we've seen everything there is to see in this alpha build though, so I'm done with it. I'll see you guys later. Think critically.